Hello guys, and welcome to another video. And a couple weeks ago, Nintendo dropped the Kirby and the Forgotten Land trailer, and along with that, they also revealed that Kirby will have a 30th anniversary celebration, kind of like how they had the 20th anniversary celebration with, like, Kirby and everything, which is kind of similar to, like, Mario, how they do things with, like, the Mario anniversaries, and unfortunately not Zelda. I don't know why Zelda didn't get anything other than the Game & Watch and Skyward Sword HD. That was pretty weird. But, um, Pokemon also got an anniversary, too. Um, I guess it's still technically a part of that, with, like, with Legends Arceus and... Um, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and I will bring this anniversary back into the discussion with the game predictions, since there is a relevant game to talk about with that, with Kirby's anniversary, so, um, actually I'll go ahead and get into that, and that is Kirby's Air Ride, or Kirby's Air Ride 2, or a remaster, since I feel like that's a long-awaited sequel, or, re or a return, because, I mean, it's kind of similar, like I said, with the Pokemon Anniversary. I was referring to Pokemon Snap, a new Pokemon Snap and everything. They were bringing that back after so many years. I think it's definitely possible that they could bring back Kirby Air Ride in a similar manner to that. Like, kind of, maybe, either remaster it, or kind of bring it back in kind of a modern way. Like, kind of have some, a lot of more quality of life things in it, and kind of... I don't know exactly how they would do it, since I haven't played Kirby Air Ride, I really want to, but, um, I definitely could see that returning, since a lot of people have been wanting that, it's kind of a similar situation, like I said, to Pokemon Snap, because a lot of people have been wanting another Pokemon Snap game, and it kind of, like, the original game kind of became a cult classic, and... They finally did release a sequel to it and everything, and they, it was kind of like the perfect sequel. Like, they just did, like, a lot of upgrades and a lot of new things to the game that made it so much better. And I feel like they could do the same thing with Kirby Air Ride, and that's really one of the only, like, spin-offs of Kirby that, like, people actually care about that's not, that doesn't really have a sequel yet. So, we'll have to see, like, so far on the Switch, we do have Super Kirby Clash and Kirby Fighters 2, so I definitely think it's possible to get something like that, but another potential spinoff we could get is Kirby Battle Royale 2, and that came out actually pretty close to when the Switch launched, since I believe it was, like, early 2017, if I'm not mistaken, and, like, I feel like it was fairly popular, I'm not sure how popular it was, but, like, there were a lot of people talking about it at the time, probably because of the name scheme, because Battle Royale, that was, like, like, that was kind of the thing at the time and everything, so, yeah, it was back right around the Switch launch, around 2017, early 2018 in North America, and it was kind of, like, an arena fighting game, I guess, I guess it was, I'm not sure if it was in 3D or not, like, I haven't, I think I've only played, like, a couple minutes of the demo of the game, but I definitely think that's a possible thing they could do, like, I'm not sure if it would be too similar to any of the other Kirby spin-offs that are already on the Switch, but I guess Kirby Battle Royale 2 is definitely possible. And another thing I could see is a, another, like, re-release, kind of like a Kirby collection, Kind of like what they did with the 20th anniversary. I don't really see them re-released or doing like a collection or anything with anything before um, Kirby 64. Because I feel like those games are either on the Switch or really not worth kind of porting separately from Switch Online. So if they're going to do a Kirby collection, it's probably going to be like the Wii and 3DS games. Like they could possibly do a collection of... I, I know it would be a little weird, but I guess maybe, like, um, Kirby's Epic Yarn and Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I'm not sure if that would work or not, but I, I feel like more likely it could possibly be, like, um, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, Triple Deluxe, and Planet Robobot. I'm not sure how they would implement, like, the 3DS games onto the Switch. I guess they would kind of be, like, remasters, kind of like Metopia. So... 
I think they could possibly do that, or possibly like a GBA and DS collection, and maybe put like those games into like one collection. I'm not that probably wouldn't be as well received as something like a Wii and 3DS collection, but it, it's still possible, and I feel like those games are more likely to actually be released with Nintendo Switch Online with like a GBA library and everything, so I think that is definitely less likely. And another thing is a remake, and with the remake, I think a possible thing they could do is remake, like, the first, or the three Dreamland games. Like, they already remade Kirby's Adventure and Kirby Superstar on the GBA and DS respectively, but they actually haven't remade the Dreamland games, like Dreamland 1, 2, and 3. So I think that would be interesting if they, like, remade them in the Kirby Star Allies engine and kind of, like, made them... I'm not sure, like, how much that would be, if that would be too much to kind of develop alongside Kirby and the Forgotten Land, or it could possibly be developed by Grezzo in, like, a completely different engine, maybe even the Link's Awakening style. But I think it would be pretty cool if we got, like, some kind of Kirby remake, like, a collection of, kind of like a remake collection of, um, the Dreamland games would be pretty cool. And I'm not sure what other game they could remake. I mean, Kirby 64 is a possibility, but I don't really think that's likely since we're getting Kirby 64 on Switch Online. So, I do think a remake's definitely possible. And the final thing here is a completely new spin-off. So, like, Kirby has a decent amount of spin-offs, so they could potentially do something completely different, like maybe even like a Kirby racing game or something like that. I don't know what they could do, but they could potentially do something completely different. Maybe even a Kirby RPG. That's kind of an idea that I've thought of before. Like, that's a really interesting idea, and I'd like to see if they would do something like that sometime, like an actual Kirby RPG. I'm not sure if it would be like 3D or kind of like a 2D style, kind of like Mario and Luigi or Paper Mario, so it, Kirby RPG would be pretty nice. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm kind of excited about Kirby's 30th anniversary, but I'm a little concerned if they're not really going to do anything outside of Kirby in the Forgotten Land, so I really hope they do something interesting with another game releasing, but I, anyways, I'm, I am really excited for Kirby in the Forgotten Land, so thank you guys for watching this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.